Welcome to Machine Learning at Home. Today I will speak about training bias. Very important, unfortunately important thing when you do machine learning. So if you hear about any machine learning or artificial intelligence results, you always need to ask how the training was done. And I will show the small example today. So example will be based on linear discriminant analysis. So we simply need to load the library M A S S uppercase. And then we'll need to create as usual the training and testing subset. I will use the same RS data today. But today I will use a slightly different way to make subsets. Instead of selecting each like fifth row, I will use a sample function which will randomly sample 30 rows out of 150. So n row 30 will be my code. But before I make it, I will enter some kind of magic. Set seed 16881 and only then I will use my sample. So I will take the number of rows of IS data. I can specify here exactly 150, but this way is more general. And we'll take 30 rows out of it and we'll save it in the sum object. So it will be like sample 2. Okay. Now we will need to create this training and testing subset. So iris train 2 will be iris sample 2. So we'll simply use this sample 2, which consists of numbers of rows, 30 random numbers of rows, to select into iris training subset. And then, very similarly, with negation, that case minus, because we are working with numbers, not with logical vectors, and create test, testing subset, with like similar name, Aris test 2. Okay, and we now make a prediction with one step, Aris PRED 2, everything will be 2 today. So predict from the LDA, which uses pieces against all other four variables, and data iris tray two. And for new data, we need iris test. test 2 without the last without the last variable like that let me double check it two parentheses open two parentheses closed looks like everything is good oh, space should be more aesthetical this way okay and then we will need to make a table out of existed species names which we didn't use is test variable number five and predicted species name which we just found with the help of LDA pet two dollar sign class okay sounds like it's good nope uh, because I has forgot this too. Okay, so end results. Results are strange, much worse than typical LDA results. So what is going on? Let me explain it making one more step. Like I need a table from our training data. Look on that table. Looks like that sample function work it in a wrong way. It sampled much more, like three times more, versicolor 
than Setosa and Virginica. So it's no wonder that prediction went in such a wrong way. As we already know, Setosa is very different from two other species, so it still predicted well. But, of course, the prediction messed with Versicolor and Virginica, because we simply didn't fit it very well with equal number of samples. So system learned of much more Versicolor and didn't learn much about Virginica. So differences between Versicolor and Virginica were not very well understood by our LDA model. And of course it made mistakes. So 12 samples of Virginica were classified wrongly into Versicolor. So this is really bad result. So why sample went in such a wrong way? Because we need we made a magic. So we free, uh, we freeze it random number generator with some specific constant like this 16881. And then result was highly biased. But it is not a cheating. That thing might happen if we don't even specify set seed. So it only will be different each time. So you must be extremely careful when you apply any random sampling to your data set in order to create a training subset. So reason this is that iris data is stratified. So I mean, if you look on iris data again, you will see that at first it has rows with setosa, then rows with Versicolor, and then rows with Virginica. So this is stratified approach. But we applied some random sampling to it, and with some specific random number generator set, we achieved very bad sampling result when 18 Versicolor rows were selected against 6 Virginica, and six Setosa. That in turn made our prediction very badly done. So if you want to ma a machine to learn something, you should teach it well. It will learn exactly what you want to teach. If you teach your machine learning on prevalence with some unusual example, and will ignore some typical things. It will not learn situation well. So remember that simple rule. You must always look on your initial data and try to equalize the teaching process. Make your model learning things more or less equally. Then you might have better results of your machine learning. So this is a lesson for machine learning training bias. Thank you very much.